Adam, 2-1 uh, win here this afternoon against Lewis. Uh, always a difficult place to come. What were your thoughts on the, on the first half? Obviously, it was 1-1 at half-time. How do you think it was going? Because I felt that we, we should have been ahead, really. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a very, very even contest throughout the game, um, especially first half. Um, yeah, we didn't really get into our, our rhythm, and you've got to give credit to the opposition for that. Um, I thought they was, was excellent. They probably showed a bit more bravery to, to get on the ball and, and play um, than us. And yeah, that was the message at half time just for us to be brave and try and get on the ball. And I thought when we did, um, we caused them some problems like we did for the first goal. Um, and then Oli had a big big moment, I think, big chance just before half time. Um, so normally, you know, he's been relentless in putting them away this season. Um, he didn't take it, so then it, it made for a, a cagey sort of game. Um, but yeah, all in all, I thought you know we showed great, great character, great spirit, and great cohesion to stick together uh, to the end. And, you know, we've got players in our team like they have that can come up with that little moment, and just lucky it was us that got it to them. Yeah, and obviously Danny Danny Barker pulled up. He's, he looked like a hamstring tear. Yeah, he felt a bit of a pop as well. So it's a good sign. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to assess that, see how he is, possibly need a scan to, to see the um, extent of the injury. Um, but yeah, it's, I think we're going to get that now. Ten games to go, heavy pitches um, that we're going to be playing on. Um, I thought pitch played really well actually, you know, mm. considering uh, all the rain and stuff. But yeah, no, we're, we're going to get heavy pitches between now and the end of the season. And, the whole group is going to be needed. Okay, and we've got, um, obviously, you, you brought Marvin Armstrong on. Obviously, Marvin's been a bit of a bit part player lately. How pleased were you with his performance when he came on? Well, yeah, I think the, the whole squad, like I say, um, everyone's, all, everyone's going to be needed. Um, you know, so when you get your opportunity, you've got to take it. And I know that Marv um, will take it. He's taken it time and time again. Um, He'll probably be disappointed more than anyone that he's not playing, um, especially only because of the form of, of Danny and Jess that he, he hasn't got more minutes lately. But you know, he's, he's a real, real big player for us, and uh, yeah, we've got we've got um, obviously Pat to come back now, um, and you know Coxie and Danny are going to be out for a little bit, but uh, Alex is on the way back. So I'd say the whole the whole squad's going to be between now and the season. Yeah, and obviously Jesse Starkey, Starkey popping up with a winner. Um, I think that's been one of my criticisms this season because he's got so much talent and sprays the ball about that you expect more goals from him. So it was nice yeah. to actually see him pop one in. Yeah, um, <laughs> obviously I think if he adds that to his game, then you know there's going to be clubs come looking for him. Uh, yeah. I think so. Um, I'm just happy he gets his five a season at the moment because <laughs> uh, if he adds that, then you know, what a talent, what a talent player. And like I say, with the ability he's got, you, you should expect, you expect him at the time. He had a great effort last week, um, hit the post, and it's a great strike. Um, so you know he got it in him. But um, like I say, yeah, we, we, we just had that good finish. Uh, I think we had a couple of chances, like I say, Ollie just for half-time when we tucked him away. And Miki had a good good chance as well. Yeah. Um, that he normally tucked away as well, to be mm. fair to him. Um, so, yeah, in, in tight games like this, you've got to be ruthless with your chances. and. Perhaps we wasn't today, and that's why it was a little bit cagey. But you know, full credit to Lewis. I think they're an excellent side, excellent outfit, play really good football, and some really good players. Yeah, I thought uh, class was class in the midfield for, for, for them today. He, he sort of took the ball by the horns, but we don't want to talk about that. Um, injury wise, obviously ten points ahead, ten, ten to go. Um, game in hand on a couple of the clubs, so you know it's it's just taking one game at a time there. Yeah, exactly. Um, today means nothing unless you back it up with a good performance on Tuesday. Um, you know, I think out of those ten games, six are away now. Yeah. Six away, four at home. Um, so our, our waveform is going to be going to be crucial. And like I say, there's going to be some big players. We'll see uh, away from home. His, his um, uh, aggression and his um, you know the size, his physicality is going to be really important to us in those away games. Um, so like I say, everyone's going to be needed. We're going to have to dust everyone down and, and go and you know, have another hard-earned um, game at Ace Farrakh on Tuesday. It's going to be a really, really tough game, we know that. Yeah, and right, um, injury-wise, what, what are the concerns in, in the background yeah, injury-wise? Obviously, um, Coxie um, is obviously hamstring, Danny Barker hamstring, so uh, no, Coxie's calf, sorry, so, but he's, he's, he's on the mend. Um, showing signs of improvement. Um, Pat's 
hamstring, but he should be getting available for section now. He's had a couple of sessions under his belt, so he should be edging closer. Um, Joel was complaining of his ankle today. Um, Ollie's had a bit of a problem with his knee. Um, obviously, Aaron with his knees and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a case of like managing the players and that. Um, you know, Thursday, some of them don't do very much at all. and. Um, yeah, we've, we've just got to manage the players and that's what Sam's excellent to be fair. Okay, right, congratulations today and we'll see you Tuesday evening. Cheers Pete. Cheers. Cheers.